Hi YouTubers, uh, this is my uh, console 226 that I've just refurbished uh, and set up to do heavy leather sewing, or at least as heavy as this machine will do. Uh, typically I sew about a quarter inch thickness uh, of leather. And what I wanted to show you is uh, I bought this motor, which is a uh, Soline SLS 2000 servo motor. And I'm so impressed with this, I wanted to get the word out. I don't even need a gear reducer with this motor. And I can, I can set it all the way down to 200 RPMs, and it has a slow start feature where it'll go 100 RPMs for the first few stitches. And it also has a, a feature where you can just tap the pedal. I have the, a needle positioner with mine. Got the needle positioner option. Uh, for 169 bucks delivered, and I have another video that tells more about the motor and the installation of it. But uh, you can just tap, 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 and do single stitches at a time, or do a few slow stitches at a time, or keep the pedal depressed, and it'll go up to the, to the full speed, which, again, I have set at 200 RPMs. The thing has uh, plenty of punching power to go through the leather that I'm doing, and uh, I just wanted to demo it for you so that you can kind of see what it's like here. Okay, I'm going to try stitching. I've got to hold the camera with one hand, so... I'm one-handed here stitching. Uh, I'm going to tap the pedal, and you'll see this will do one stitch at a time. I can hit my back stitch lever. Do one stitch at a time. We'll go back to forward, and I'll hold the pedal down. It'll you'll see it ramp up. And now it stops in the needle down position so that I can just change my work to another direction. Lift the foot. And now I'll sew back in the other direction here. Do the lock stitch. Bring my needle up, take this out, hold on here. And try to get this back in shot as soon as I cut the threads. And I don't know if this is going to focus for me sufficiently or not. But there's the stitching. There's the back stitching. You can see my my locks. So I'm very satisfied with this. And uh, again, if you have to do heavier leather, and this is this is about a quarter inch thickness of leather, uh, this machine's probably capable of doing up to three eighth inch. And um, I might have to do a reducer to get punching power for three eighth inch. I'm not sure. Also, this is 138 thread top and bottom, um, and it's sewing fairly well for me. Uh, some guys say that you need to go to a 92 thread on the bottom with these machines, but uh, I'm having very good luck with 138 top and bottom. Plenty of punching power, like I say. I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment and get a smaller pulley. I haven't even I haven't even changed the the pulley diameter. This is what it came with is an 80 millimeter pulley. And I haven't even changed that. I'm going to actually do some experimenting and change that to a uh, probably one and three quarter or two inch and see exactly how slow this will go. My guess is it'll go down to a crawl. So uh, you leather workers out there, people using very heavy canvas or whatever, um, it might be a good idea for you to, to go to this. Uh, check out my other video a little bit more about the motor and its features and the installation.